All right, then I would entertain a motion to accept the minutes unless anybody has a correction or edit toward them. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, accept the minutes from previous meeting. July 15. Thank there you, David. Go. I can second those. And Jamie is seconding. Thank you very much. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Or any abstentions? I will be abstaining because I was not at that meeting. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, moving forward with communications and reports. Do any of the committee members have anything to share with us? I have nothing. Jamie, Christy? Crickets. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to consultants. No, I have no visitors for you tonight. Still crickets. Yeah, no visitors. All right, staff and program. Okay, um, there's a lot of things going on. I'll let Tammy start. I mean, she's got, we're working on the closeout of the middle school, obviously. We're getting very close. There's a few documents out there. I can let Tammy fill you in on some of that if she wants to. And then uh, we'll get into the elementary schools and the tile replacement and all that other stuff because it's going to take a little bit more time. So we'll get the quick one, relatively quick one out of the way, and then we'll get into the, the other issues, if you will, if you don't mind. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Tammy, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Just plug it along. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, Groton Middle School project summary. Um, so again, we will be reviewing the hydro seeding and the plantings in the fall. Um, the brick veneer is 100% on the sign. Um, I did forward you guys a photo in the monthly report there. Um, and then the school sign itself. So that is looking to be completed around mid-September. So we're just waiting for the uh, material to be shipped for the actual sign itself. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're working on is uh, we're reviewing the level spreader still by the athletic ball field. So we're working together with the uh, uh, design team as well as uh, ONG. And the last item that we still have outstanding is the uh, glycol system. So that is also being reviewed um, as well. So we're working on that. Uh, uh, the, no, go ahead, finish up. I'll ask after. Okay, sure. Um, the other thing that I wanted to make mention is that we received the final uh, state change order from uh, ONG. So we are, so we are closed out with ONG at this moment. And also we will be getting a uh, credit bat from the architect of $14,000. So just to let everyone know that as well, I spoke to the architect today. Yep. And the ONG credit is about 212,703 and change or something like that. Yep. So we did get a pretty good chunk back from uh, them uh, being the construction manager. And we're still working with Arcadis getting that finished and closed out, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, so, um, so that's pretty much where we stand with the uh, middle school. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Yeah, just on the glycol system, where do we stand with that? Yeah, so right now um, we've done some monitoring for the glycol um, and then we have provided all the data information that we received from the school, Board of Ed, Jamie, um, and okay. we've provided that to the engineers as well as uh, ONG. So, so they are working on reviewing that right now. Um, and we're just waiting for feedback from uh, CES. Okay. And how to move forward currently right now. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, they got to look at all the data and figure mm -hmm. out which direction to go. So yes. that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions or comments on uh, the middle school? No new issues with the system? No new issues, just the same one. So that's good. Yeah, well, that is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, at least they're not chasing one, two or three different things. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, just just the one. So which is good. Yeah. 
We have okay. no problems with the windows now. No, no, nope, no problems with the windows. Good. <laughs> and then um, I know we mentioned last month about the um, the flooring in the bathroom, so that is uh, getting repaired as we speak as a warranty item. Good. Yep. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Any further questions? Uh, nope. Oh, Good okay. on that one. All right, excellent. So I'm going to move on to um, Mystic River. Okay, um, so I'm going to start off with the site work for Mystic River. Uh, the pavement and striping is 100%. Um, our site signage is 100%, as well as plantings. And um, moving forward, so we have a little bit of grading that is still left um, to be installed. And then we also are working on some of the final sidewalks in front of the building. And then also um, site lighting that we're working on for the site. And um, so the Fishtown Brook Bridge, so that is uh, scheduled to start next week is what I'm being told, so that's good. Okay, um, and then moving on to the uh, building items. So all the MEPs, plumbing fixtures, uh, Promethean boards, acoustical clouds in the media center, uh, millwork, carpet, pretty much most of the stuff is uh, completed. And then uh, we did have a elevator state inspection, so that passed. So we've been using the elevator. Um, we still have a little bit of uh, curtain wall to install in the cafeteria, and it's basically a replacement one. So we're waiting for that glazing. And then uh, roof coping is still ongoing in area A. And then we still have a little bit of interior finishes in area A uh, that are continuing as well um, as some ceiling tile, just a little bit where we are doing all the uh, balancing. So all that ceiling tile will be placed completely which once we complete the balancing uh, in all areas. Uh, the other thing is um, kitchen startup. So we did start up the kitchen and we had um, also the kitchen health inspector came in today. And so she gave us the uh, TCO to go ahead with. And um, the other item that we tested was the Ansel system. So that passed along with the uh, fire alarm system at Cutler. And then um, we just have a few punch list items. So he signed off, uh, the fire marshal signed off for TCO as well for Cutler. Uh, let's see, punch list items continue. So we are going to be having the architect come out on Monday to uh, work on the final punch list items for the rest of the building. So they'll finish their uh, walkthrough on Monday. Uh, the FF&E, so that's going to start being delivered next week as well as the networking will begin next week and move management is scheduled to begin the, uh, on August 20th. So any, that's all I have for uh, Mystic River. Roof screening. Uh, roof screening that, um, oh, and I have, um, sorry, I have some more notes here. <laughs> Another page. page. <laughs> yes, page two. <laughs> so the items, um, Rick wanted me to go over a few items uh, on our delay list that, um, you know, will be going past the actual school, the start of school. Um, one of the items is the uh, ballistic storefronts and entrances. So we're still expecting completion uh, October 15th. Uh, we are currently working with um, ONG to install temporary walls and doors for those areas. Um, the other thing is the, um, the aluminum doors. So we have installed temporary doors right now, and we're looking to get the aluminum doors completed by the end of August. So those should be, um, you know, pending delivery completed before school starts. Uh, the roof screen itself, so to answer your question, Bob, that is looking to be um, completed by August 27th. 
So it's we have a ship date of July 30th. Um, the other, that's it for uh, Mystic River for the items that will be going past uh, the school, the start of school. I mean, we do have other items, um, like for instance, the, um, you know, the panels, the permanent panels, but we have temporaries installed. So um, anything else that is, you know, will be completed uh, before school starts. So there's nothing else alarming at this moment. So the, the doorways or the curtain walls aren't going to affect a, a CO of any sort? Uh, no, we don't believe so because we're installing temporary doors. So it's not going to be a wide opening and they will be uh, secured. So we're going to have a hardware door hardware where they'll be able to uh, lock it down while school's in session. And so the fire marshal is okay with this? Yes. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Fire marshal gone... building official have both bought into mm -hmm. this. Sam, we've discussed it with him how it's going to work. Yeah, so yeah, I just but... have to ask a question too, because I, I wasn't I didn't know yesterday that it would be till October 15th. So anybody that comes to the front of the building, visitors, they are not going to be able to buzz us. We're going to have to correct. That's correct. someone there. Yes. Yes. Sam oh, Sam has worked out and Sam can speak for himself, but we had that discussion with uh, Sam from the from Yeah, but logistically, um, Steve and I have to manage the staff for that um, uh, in order to be able to have people stationed there. So Sam, what was it that you had worked out? Because I'm really worried about this by having temporary doors and not being able to buzz somebody in and having to station a person there. The uh, the vestibule is going to be the same. Let's explain actually what's happening here. So people, if you open the external doors, they would still be able to get into the vestibule. So I guess the question is whether you leave those external doors open or locked during the school day. You would still have the uh, internal vestibule wall, which would be multiple layers of whatever for security. You would still have the door into the, into the uh, office, if you will that they would still have to be brought into that office area. So, I mean, we could still have, obviously still have that sort of discussion. Um, the buzzer system, I don't know that we'd really address Tammy. We did talk about the uh, ADA push button thing, having mm -hmm. people available for that. So, I mean, I think we could still have, still need to have that discussion if you will, I guess. And we'll, we can, we'll work it out with, uh, with Sam and see. And of course he needs to, communicate with you guys on what's going on there. So if it's the buzzing issue, yeah. we'll have to look at that. Because I we won't be able to identify who the people are who's out there unless we can talk to them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's we'll, a security we'll, we'll, issue. Can't yeah, put your we'll, staff at risk. Yeah, we'll take that under advisement, Jamie, and take a look at it and get back with you. Thank you. Okay. Sam, did you want to add anything? I saw that you unmuted, so I, I muted, I unmuted, I muted again. So I, am I there now? Yes, you <laughs> uh, are, Sam. <laughs> I, I'm in the car, unfortunately. So uh, no, we'll, we'll work out any details uh, uh, that are necessary to make it all work in the end. So we're good for now. Okay. So okay. We'll, we, we can have start those discussions tomorrow and figure out what we need to do there, troops, and figure out how we can do that and what the changes because if it's on a pedestal like before how is the door electrified you know it's not as serious as the uh, push yeah. button kind of installation so we'll talk about it okay. okay any other questions or comments for mystic river yeah on those doors that jamie's uh concerned about uh how long are we talking that school's going to be in session before the doors go in so they'll be completed in october well, and that's that, that's the date now. So right. that's if we start from uh, scratch. What's what's going to happen is they're putting in the wall. It's being offset for from where the original location is for the mm -hmm. uh, storefront wall. OK, so as soon as that material is available and it's going to be after hours, Saturday, Sundays, nights, whatever it happens to be, they could start that construction of that section so that when uh, 
all the materials available and the demo happens, we already have the other, the other wall in place, if you will. Okay. And get ready so to hang, hang the door. What so yeah, what I'm looking for is the length of time. I mean, school starts on one day and, yeah, you know, understand. and then we're saying October, but when in October, the first week, second week. So, so right now, the expected arrival date for these doors and material is October 4th. Okay. And then the expected completion is October 15th. Okay. So, so we're, we're, we're getting, oh, sorry, Dave, go ahead. No, that's all right. So we're looking what, five, four, five weeks, six weeks. Okay. approximately but we're getting updates daily or, or i'm sorry not daily but weekly uh, right. from the contractors they're constantly calling them see if we can get it you know sooner you know we're doing all that we can to try to get them delivered sooner so we can get them installed as soon as possible okay all right the issue is is that we can't we can't get it from efco who is the manufacturer right so that's that's where the crux of the matter is here is the manufacturer isn't able to supply it to the job site. Right. Uh -oh. and yeah. So it, it's, so the reason why they are delayed is um, Armatex um, is the one that supplies the ballistic doors. Right. So they didn't have, they had material shortages, labor shortages due to the whole COVID, uh, which impacted their delivery dates. Right. Okay. All right. Well, yes, I agree. The sooner the better. I mean, six yes. weeks is a lot of, you know, it's a long mm -hmm. time to right. Understood. have to wait. But I mean, I agree. You, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, yeah. I don't blame Jamie for being concerned. Oh, yeah. You know, no. it's a safety issue. Right. But right. Right. I understand yeah. that we'll do, you know, we'll do everything we can. Yeah. So okay. The doors, and just to put it in perspective for everybody who knows. So, when you when you walk in, you know that'll be sort of your secured area, right? Which is your, you know, pseudo alley port, if you will. So they won't be able to enter into the office or to the building without being let through, right? So right. That's your, so yeah. that's your level of security there that that addresses right. the outsiders from coming in. Yeah, she's just Jamie's just got to be able to come up with the personnel to be able to do that. Because I, I, I uh, you got to talk. We're, now we're putting someone to let them just in. So, it, you know, and I get it, you guys, this is horrible time as far as like getting any kind of materials. Everything's back ordered. It's, that's my biggest concern is sort of having somebody who's saying through a doorway, like, who are you? And then they let them in. And now that personnel, you know, they're, they're at risk. So, so right. let me, let me, yeah. you know, Jamie, I understand your concern. Yeah. And um, what, let me talk with, uh, both construction teams and yep. see if it is doable that we can, you know, what we can do to help out with this situation, yep. whether we install the, the system and, you know, we may have to re you know, so I, I don't, I'm not sure what we will sure. work out, but, you know. Yeah, that would be cool because as long as we, if we can talk to the person, that's, you know, that part of it would be good. So right. Right, I appreciate okay. your help. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. As discussed, uh, it, it, the area will be as secure as the system that you have right now, right. with the exception of the buzzer. So whatever we need to do, we'll take care of, Jamie. Because once I see it installed, we'll be able to come up with the uh, exact plan as to how we'll handle it. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll okay. work on that in the meantime. All right, I'll work with that. Jamie on that. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Very okay. good, then. Um, so... I'll start talking about the uh, LVT flooring for Mystic River. And um, Rick, if you want to chime in, um, you know, afterwards. Okay. So um, currently right now for Mystic River, um, we are moving forward with a new product um, due to what's happening with the current product on site. And um, we have received uh, a good portion of the material already that is uh, acclimating on site and um, they will start doing the classrooms first uh, starting this weekend and we have uh, two crews going through the classroom wing and working um, one crew's working seven days a week um, 12 hour shifts uh, the other crew um, you know is working uh, six days a week and um, you know we're looking to have, uh, from what we were told today, approximately 
two to three classrooms, for instance, uh, ready on Monday. Um, and then as they do the installation and the flooring, they're gonna come through and then they're gonna do the final cleaning. Um, and then we are working currently right now with the architect and how we're going to um, you know, handle the rest of the flooring. Um, the rest of the flooring will probably be done after hours or on weekends uh, based on the amount of flooring that will still need to be replaced. Um, but working on the classrooms gets us to allow the furniture to be delivered and get the classrooms up and running for the students. So, so to add a little bit to what Tammy says, you know, the situation is really, really fluid. I think uh, our architect and, and design and team, you know, construction team and our representative, you know, really worked hard to get us where we are. It's about five weeks out, maybe less. And we have material on site, which is kind of incredible. So we ended up um, using different colors, if you will, than, than what was the original colors. And we also have some different formats. So some rooms or floor may be 18 by 18, the other one may be 12 by 24, because those are the materials that are available. We still have a little bit, uh, you know, the accent colors to get in. But with the uh, manpower that that was brought on to Cutler. Um, they're pretty close to at least getting the tile stripped on the, on the floors in all the classrooms and they're stripping, uh, they got to strip the glue. And one thing that's a little different at Cutler than at West Side is uh, there's an issue with the hallway in one of the areas. So um, any other replacement other than the classrooms, which is the goal to get done first, would have to be evaluated based on the time that's remaining and how fast these folks are actually moving. So as soon as they start putting in tile and they have the floors ready to, to go, we'll be able to tell how fast they move and whether there's, a, there's an opportunity to do other things, you know, or other areas, if you will. So um, Tammy could talk probably a little bit about the FF and E that she wants, but mm -hmm. you know, we have talked and looked at the gymnasium, which the floors are done. You know, the floor is done there. Putting masonite down on the floor, bringing the furniture in, anything else that we have to bring in that can be stored in those areas where available if they can't be put directly into where they go. And then uh, we'll be parsed out as those rooms are completed. So um, there is, uh, and Tammy and ONG have been working hard on this, on a a plan which, which seems to vary frequently, but to at least come up with a concept on how you get things done as quickly as they can be done. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's uh, the Cutler side is moving forward and we basically have enough tile to lay down all the floors in Cutler if we wanted to just go with the two colors that are available. But we're still working with the architect who has been supporting and actually provided floor plans for example, if you recall way back when, we had a 12 by 24 format of tile that was uh, VCT before we got to the LVT. And then they changed to 18 by 18. So those old plans still exist. So they don't have to redraw them. They just have to tell uh, ONG and, and Arcadis what tile goes in what room based on, the, based on the lots and the amounts that we have procured already. Also, I may add that, that this has been uh, sent to the insurance company. They are actively working on our, our claim. An, an engineer is going to come out Monday, right, Tammy, I believe? Yes, Monday that's correct. To, mm -hmm. to review both of the schools. So that, that process is still going on. You know, it's very similar to what happened with the fire. We don't need fire marshal read, but we do need some technical <laughs> information and see what the arc, what's going to be supported for um, for that claim. Um, we did, and I, I did pass on to Bob that we had to extend the builder's risk based on where we are because it was gonna expire at the end of, of July or actually the end of August, I guess. And uh, so we had to extend that like two or three months, um, which is, it, it is what it is. But what I should say is on builder's risk, we did get almost $10,000 back from the middle school. So, <laughs> so we're having a little give and take on all, on all of this stuff, you know, so it's, uh, and the effort's going on and Tammy can start on the uh, other school if your guys are ready and then fill you in kind of on the tile and 
at West Side as we go forward. Based based on this and based on what we're talking about and, and the yeah. availability of things, uh -huh. is there is there any possibility that we're not going to be ready by the seventh? Uh, it's right now the goal is it's hell or high water that we're going to be ready by the seventh. I guess there is a possibility that a couple of things can't be done. We've been walk, working with Sam and and gone but through those items that may be but different. Nothing that, but nothing that should prevent the kids from coming in or, or, no, or not staff this getting point. in in time to no. hopefully at least put rooms together so right. that you can right. receive kids. Yeah, it's going to be a rush at the end, which is uh, why Tammy was talking about the, the delivery of, of the teacher stuff. is going right. to be like the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get that into the rooms. Um, if we have an opportunity to move some of that stuff sooner, because rooms are ready, we'll be working with with the mover and and Arcadis to see if we can't get some of that stuff moved earlier into those areas that may be completed. But but you know it's like twenty balls in the air right now, so we're yeah, yeah, we're working yeah. as best we can to get things moving as as fast as we can. Yeah. But right now we don't see, except for a couple of, of these issues that are going to lag on beyond the yeah. opening of school day, you know, if, if we don't get all the tile floor up, we live with what we have until we have an opportunity to replace that. It's just that we couldn't trust the product that's down. Oh, no, I, I, I get that. So, I'm, I'm I mean, just so curious. We're getting, yeah. we're getting close. Yeah, yeah. I know. Understood. Yeah, well, we are getting close. Yeah, tell us about it. I'm it, only I did. looking at it from like, from, you know, like from my view from my house and it's getting close. So I can't imagine oh, I being in the building. So well, yeah, we did it. We did walk, through the, we did <laughs> yeah. walk through the buildings today with my boss, with yep. uh, Mark, Jeffco and, and, and Brian and, and, and they are looking good. Save this tile issue. We, we would have been mm -hmm. tight, but we, we wouldn't have been where we are now. So, so we are, you know, everybody's turning to and it's Saturday, Sundays and nights and we're still pushing. So, I don't think there's going to keep us from uh, being able to inhabit the schools when they're due to open on the 7th of September. Good, because I don't want my girl home the first day of school. <laughs> she needs to go to school. She needs to leave the house. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll just add a little bit of flavor for, for some of you. And just so you know, like, you know, the group as a whole is really trying to create some mitigation strategies around some of this. So for instance, you know, at the existing schools, there's a, where there's a walkthrough on Friday. Uh, you know, the idea is to um, stage and start bringing in, you know, the general idea is to start stage and bringing things to a general location when it's time to move that, you know, everything's sort of already rolled to a central spot so that when the movers come the day, which is Friday the 20th, I think. 20th, is, yeah. Is, mm -hmm. Friday the 20th, they can literally take it from a central location, put it into the truck, ship it over and, 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 and unload it and get it to the room, assuming that everything is ready to go. So, um, you know, we're putting as many strategies in place that we can to cut time. And we're, we're, you know, both the mover and Arcadis and, you know, ONG, frankly, everyone is, is employing more manpower. And, you know, this weekend move is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot for everybody and it's going to be a challenge, but you know, the worst case scenario is, you know, the 23rd, you know, maybe there's some odds and ends, but we don't have any indication from any of the fire marshals or building officials or any of the people that really need to sign up in this health district or otherwise that there's going to be a problem. Um, so I feel confident in that. I mean, it may not be exactly, you know, maybe we wanted to have three, four weeks of fluff time before school started, which we won't have, but there's no indication that we won't be getting a, you know, a, uh, uh, a temporary or a, uh, uh, what is it? Certificate of occupancy of yeah, some yeah, sort. Yeah, 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 yeah. A temporary <laughs> certificate of occupancy or a conditional uh, occupancy um, sign off from, from all these people. So everything indicates that you know, the, the fire alarm system works, the elevator works, the life safety, safety systems work, the oh. kitchen stuff is all going to be up and running. Uh, all those tests are scheduled. So, I mean, it is tight and there will be cosmetic things, but as far as bringing kids in the building, Christy, we, we prove, we feel pretty confident. Well, you're pretty confident. Okay. First day of classes won't be on the baseball field. 
That's correct. That's, that's correct. correct. Or virtual. Well, it could be. <laughs> no Zoom. No Zoom. No Zoom. We're, 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 not, we're not trying to make I, the paper or. No, no, no. I'm just, I, I'm, I, I'm just teasing about my daughter. But I mean, ultimately, we, we just, the teachers have gone through a tremendous amount over the last year and everything. And oh, yeah. the, mm-hmm. the staff and stuff. And to just give them even, you know any extra moment that we can to just give them a minute to walk in, look around and breathe before kids show up, you know, right. obviously oh, yeah. I know that's well, on your, the forefront of your mind. So yeah, I'm it just is. curious been, about the date. We've been trying to protect stuff as best we can. And, you know, yeah. like 23rd is a, a drop dead date for all of us. Yep. And, and, and yeah. I did, yeah. I did get an invitation from the superintendent to come to the board of ed committee of the whole on, on Monday. So I'll be filling them in on the status because I know sometimes rumors are starting to run rampant, if you will. Oh yeah, and, and we Absolutely. just want to want to explain before where you we know, are, what we're doing. Before you know it, there won't even be a building there. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll go back to the old one. But you know, oh god, and, no. And, 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 <laughs> okay, let's bring it back to <laughs> reality. And a lot of it just takes explanation on where they are, right. or information. Yep. You know. So. So I'll be able to provide that Monday to those folks. And I usually get some pretty good questions from them also. So all right. that's all right. all, on the one school, I guess we're done. Moving on to the other school. Okay. All right. Uh, so Thames River. So for site work, the pavement and striping is 100%. Uh, they're continuing with the grading and site signage and also site lighting at uh, Thames River. Uh, building items is they're pretty much neck and neck at this point uh, between both buildings, uh, painting finishes, MEPs, uh, plumbing fixtures, millwork, all that's 100%. Um, they're just working on basically dropping ceiling tiles where they can. And um, the elevator install and state inspection passed at Thames River as well. Um, so we have uh, Again, a few pieces of glazing for the curtain wall that we're waiting for uh, in area A. And then uh, we're still working on the roof coping uh, on the school as well. So we have um, the kitchen equipment startup. So they're still working here at Westside to start up the kitchen equipment. We're looking to schedule um, the inspection next week with Bridget as well as the uh, fire alarm system for Thames River will be next uh, Monday. And that's also going to be for the Ansel system. So a lot of the f- inspections will be next week for uh, Thames River yeah, for the that, TCO. And, yeah, and actually the AC, uh, San, uh, Joe's coming through right on the Wednesday, is what we were told this morning. Yes. Um, so Joe Summers, the AHJ over at uh, yeah. the city. So. Yep. So he's going to do his walkthrough as well. Yep. Uh, punch list items. So those continue. Again, we have, um, you know, same thing for Thames River. PEA is going to be, or um, Perkins Eastman will be out on Monday to do the final areas left in the building for punch lists. Um, again, FF&E items will begin next week. And IT will begin the week following at Thames River, the week of the 16th. Uh, move management will be concurrent with uh, Mystic River, and we will start uh, moving in on the 20th, um, the same exact date as Cutler, or I'm sorry, Mystic River. Yeah, one, one difference, I guess, in the completion of the two schools is they mm-hmm. have hung some of the clouds, if you will, in the hallways and stuff mm-hmm. that really, uh, really oh, dresses yeah. up dresses up those ceiling areas and it really looks nice so that, that whole good. cloud that whole cloud yeah. system that they redid worked out good yeah yeah it, it looks yes. a little it looks great in the areas that it's been put up already mm-hmm. oh, yeah it looks main, really good main entrance area and, uh, they were working in the uh, i think library. david referring to the systems in the middle school though oh well these are different than the, oh yeah no those aren't the same these no, are oh <laughs> these, these are vertical are, vertical uh, panels if you will and they're kind of oh, okay we didn't have to do the same thing no no, and... no. oh no. okay okay no <laughs> no and, the, and these are kind of a wavy thing so it kind of looks like a they're wave more decorative and, you know, it's, a, it's, it's an artistic sure. kind of yeah thing. it looks nice <laughs> now yeah. are we having the same issues with the glycol system at the two elementary schools or 
So not, no, we're not. Um, we're working on currently right now at Westside, they're filling up the glycol uh, this week. And for, um, I'm sorry, Thames River. And for Mystic River, they are planning on doing that uh, next week. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I actually think they have filled up at, at Westside or, yeah. or yeah. Thames River today. So, so we'll be able to monitor that. The uh, mm -hmm. one thing we didn't mention is the uh, commissioning agents have been in and looking at things and going through their checklists and whatever on, on equipment. So yeah, um, that's going forward, if you will. Okay. Um, how about the playing fields at both those elementary schools? Uh, how so are the those? Playing, they're, they're done. Um, and basically the sod looks really nice. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we haven't, I mean, we've had some rain, but we're not seeing any issues with drainage. No, 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 no issues Good. whatsoever. Nope. Okay. No, no puddling is noticeable you know, at this point. I mean, they haven't put the diving board in yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a slip and slide. No, oh, no. <laughs> Too much grass. Full disclosure, if you go there, there's still weeding that needs to be done. There's... Oh, yeah. There's yeah. Stuff, so... You know, all that being said, uh, besides that, just so there's no miscommunication, but the but the sod itself looks great. Yeah, yeah good. And I also did all of the painting on the lines of the street on Brandegee. Yes. Yes. There too. Yes, that's oh. correct. Yep. So that's changed nice. a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was one question as why a left turn lane was removed. Well, the driveway is not there anymore. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Greg was asking about, Brian. Yeah. He says, oh, they moved the line. I'll have to, I'll no, have to do no a drive-by. Drive <laughs> oh, you should. I'll have to do I mean, a drive-by this weekend. You should. The uh, The bicycle lane is really wide. Yeah. The uh, They've got wide a island. Wide, wide enough for my truck. Uh, well, <laughs> depends on what mile. kind of truck you have. <laughs> and the field looks great. Um, looks good. We don't yet have a schedule for the sidewalk. They're working on that. So that was going to yeah. be my next question. Yeah. So, yeah. so in a in a couple of weeks, we expect them to start work on that, but we don't have a firm schedule yet. So it's got to be obviously done before uh, school starts and yeah. uh, all all the other stuff takes place. So the other question I have is the that set of stairs that they put, um, they're going to be handrails and stuff on that. Yes, correct? Okay. that's correct. Yes. <laughs> Based mm -hmm. on the questions we had from the other handrails. Well, the rails, the, the rails for the step coming off the road, if you look down the hill, they're laying on, on the ground next to it. So yeah. they're waiting for <laughs> they're waiting for the other ones to be galvanized and then they come back. No, to go down to the ball field to be galvanized mm -hmm. and then once those are done they'll install all of them at the same time okay mm -hmm. yep so, um i oh sorry no, Rick. Go no go ahead Tim. um so i was going to go over the uh delayed items for uh yep. thames river um so jamie is aware of the items um for her school. So for the ballistic doors uh, for Thames River, so we're looking for an expected delivery date on site for October 5th. Um, completion would be October 13th. So again, you know, we're, ONG is uh, working with Armatex and it's the same situation um, with the lack of material and labor due to uh, COVID. So again, we'll, you know, we'll, We'll see what um, we'll talk with both teams and Sam to see what we can come up with, Jamie, with your concern. Uh, aluminum doors, um, they should be installed uh, before the start of school. But again, we do have temporary doors um, that will be installed. The other item to bring up is the, um, the Promethean boards. So the Promethean boards, the 86 inch Promethean boards are, should arrive on site on the day school starts. Um, and then they should be completed with the installation September 11th. Uh, for the 70 inch boards, those are coming later. So they're expected to arrive on site September 28th and completion for October 2nd. So I, um, so those are the uh, that update, and then 
everything else that we have should be completed before the start of school. So those are the major items that I wanted to point out for you, Jamie. So how many 70 inches? Because I don't know the I wasn't sure where 70 inch were going and 86, frankly, were going. Um, so I don't have the exact count, but I can get that for you. Yeah, yeah there's, right. there's 10, there's 10 70 inch panels on our little cheat sheet here. Um, those are for conference oh, rooms. Oh, thank and you, those, Rick. And, and, those, and those rooms that are smaller, those ed educational rooms <laughs> oh, that okay, may be so smaller. Okay, feel a little better. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, then the there, oh. yeah, there's 35 of the 86 inch boards. Uh, oh, okay. And those go in the classrooms. Yeah, classroom with media center. Mm -hmm. those, those okay, things. so you said those would be by the 11th of September. Correct. Okay, and the, are there any in? I can't remember. You, I thought you had said last meeting there might be some in, but no. No, okay. unfortunately not. We don't have any installed here at uh, Thames River. Okay, all right. But, you know, we, we keep after the, mm -hmm. the construction manager to, to keep checking on them to see if we can't up that date. You know, we haven't been successful to date, but okay. they keep working on it. So yeah. we will keep pushing. For that okay, time. all right, thank you. Um, the other item that I wanted to bring up, Jamie, is um, there's an AV plenum that goes into the um, tutor room and media center that won't be delivered until uh, September 20th. Um, but we, you know, we're looking to take the AV plenum out of uh, a conference room and put it in the media center where we figured it would get used most uh, in the media center. So, so, we probably, so we probably should check with you and see which conference room you think would be least used or whatever. I, I think there's only I don't know it, well, it's, it's some kind of control device. That has to be yeah, it's there. a control device for the uh, Promethean boards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A kind of a funny name for that. With the, I know, <laughs> the box full of wires. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We right. talk about ceiling plenums and talk about this and that. So it's like okay. some, some enclosure with something in it, you know. Yeah, yeah. got it. All right, that's cool. Okay. okay. And uh, um, Tyler, I guess, Tammy, on that Yep, one? so I'll, I'll start off, Rick, and then if you want to uh, <laughs> add afterwards. <laughs> Feel free. So, so the, tile, the LVT tile here at uh, Thames River, um, it was delivered. So we, again, very similar to the process that we're doing at uh, Mystic River is we've got all hands on deck um, with the subcontractor and they look to uh, start the installation this weekend. Again, they're going to work uh, six days a week and this team is going to ramp up their manpower um, as opposed to working seven days a week. So they're going to have more manpower on site for this team. And um, again, we've received um, the floor plans from the architect. We're going to focus on the classrooms first, get those done. And then depending on how fast and quickly they can get that installed, you know, we'll work in other spaces uh, before school starts. Yeah. But we will have uh, flooring down, um, whether it be the new material or the old material. And then we'll work, uh, you know, scheduling installation to replace it after hours and on weekends for the rest of the school. Yeah. So, so right now they're farther ahead. I mean, they have all yes. the classrooms stripped, if you will, they're mm -hmm. prepping the floors. They've done it. I think at least one and maybe two of the floors to, to accept the new tile, you know, so yes, it's, it's just <laughs> kind of crazy. Slapping. I must have said yeah. something. That didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, did you see my superhero? <laughs> my my seven year old just came over with a mask on. She's oh, like, she's right? a superhero. Oh, that must have been a quote. Oh. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, good go. <laughs> I, was I so just saw Brian start to laugh as you guys were doing the report. I was like, oh, looks God. Like, look, looks like Batgirl or something. You know? <laughs> she's, she's Ladybug, super Ladybug. Oh, Ladybug. I don't know. <laughs> so, so, yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit ahead over there. The, uh, the unfortunate part there is we're a little, have a little less material to put in. So, mm -hmm. so that's all be going to be working. And if there's an ability to transfer materials from one that's not being used to the other, that's all kind of in the architect's bailiwick. But um, you know, and I have gone over uh, the materials or the types of materials that are going to be installed with uh, Sam, and he's looked at them. So I think mm -hmm. he's, uh, you know, we are kind of where we are. It's uh, to get the floors down. We we were kind of, you know, having to use what was really available in numbers because it takes too long to to manufacture that stuff. 
So right now, for example, the uh, accent tiles, the color that was asked for by the architect is not available. So maybe it's a different color that is available and suitable, or maybe it's, since there's such short runs, maybe they could be manufactured in a short period of time. So we are pulling all the cord strings, whatever we can to, to get that stuff there as, as quickly as we can. And, uh, you know, I, I, I would like to see Monday morning where we stand with classroom mm -hmm. stuff. It'll give us some idea of how quickly, how quickly they can move. Mm -hmm. So it may help us make decisions farther on down the line. So yeah. it's a, still a work in progress, if you will. Yeah. And again, um, so we're going to do the same process for the move management um, furniture. We're going to stage all the furniture and then uh, move it in all hands on deck, um, Arcadis, the move management team, and William B. Meyer. So we, we will have... Um, We'll have the spaces ready for you, Jamie, um, before, <laughs> you know, we're going to do all that we can to have them all placed before the teachers come in on the 23rd. So, um, yeah. and, we, and we know, and we know that's going to be difficult because yeah. we'll just be getting the inventory done and we won't have time to, to really move stuff around or really get a good look at it because there's so much going on at that period of time. It's just, people will be taking hand trucks up and down the halls to mm -hmm. deliver stuff to the various rooms and stuff. So it's just going to be a crazy time, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, we tried to protect as much as we could, but, you know, we're, we're really, and we hate to put you principals and the teachers in the hard space that, that you are, but we're all kind of facing the same yeah, thing. You know, I totally so. get it. Um, I'm almost thinking, you know, depending on how it goes, we can delay one day so that Monday we have a little bit of leeway and save the mm -hmm. 24th. I would hate for people to get in and get it, you know, have none of their boxes ready to go. So we'll, mm -hmm. as it gets closer, I mean, Steve and I sent an email out today saying, you know, here's news just because people hear yeah, right. right. So we said, you know, we'll keep you updated as the process goes. And I yeah, did yeah. say Prometheans or, you know, things like that. So we might want to even just say the 24th, something like that. Well, and, and, we, and we can look and if we're ready yeah. uh, earlier on the 23rd or whatever, and we have yeah. things in place, we can certainly keep you yeah. advised on where that stuff's going to be and when it's going to be in. So, yeah. Yeah. so if you don't have to make that change or we can tell you the third floor is available. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say is you may be able to do it in stages. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and yep. that's that's what we're looking at too. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're we're looking at all all options out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, people are expecting some of this. You know, it's just they're chomping at the bit to come in and see. Right. Us, but, yeah. Well, um, I'd rather push it a day to make sure things are set than to have people just. Right. Like, right. And we'll yeah. be able to tell you that I think in time yeah. for you to mm -hmm. make for that sure. decision. Okay. Sounds cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If 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 I can sidebar sort of for a quick second, I I wanted to say that, you know. If we're gonna, if that's amenable, Jamie, then, you know, I know you and Steve want to take this walk through the building on, on, on the Friday before, right? And 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 here's my suggestion. Um, you know, I can't tell you what to do, um, but you're not going to be able to see anything because we're going to be working all Friday, in through the night, Saturday, Sunday to get that done. So, if you're going to move the teachers to the 24th it'd probably be appropriate then for you and Steve to come in on Monday, the 23rd to do what you want to do, because then we'd actually have furniture mm -hmm. in place and boxes in place. Cause when you walk in there on Friday, Friday <laughs> afternoon, all you're going to see is a whole slew of people working. you you know, you're not going to see any of the spaces created if you. Yeah. I super appreciate that. The, um, because really what we're looking to do is just what you said, because you know, it sets a tone for a teacher when they come in and we're like, mm -hmm. sorry, you don't have your, you know, stuff. So I right. have it much more organized. So I'll call Steve tomorrow and, you know, see, and obviously if it gets sooner, which I don't think it will, we um, can change <laughs> mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Point, you, you know, it makes most sense because we want to walk our routines that we're thinking. And again, you'll mm -hmm. see it a hundred times and, but we want to make it as comfortable for people as possible. So that makes more sense to have a little bit of like a breather. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> That's you yeah, read just, my mind, Brian. <laughs> I'm just afraid if you're going to get there, you're like, and what am I supposed to do now when there's 30 movers pushing boxes everywhere right. and nothing's in any of these rooms, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You don't want to waste your time either, you know? No, for sure. Okay. That sounds cool. 
I'll talk to Steve tomorrow. Okay. And I can reply tomorrow too. So yeah. And I can reply back to your Jamie, uh, your email, Jamie, based on our conversation and and Brian, you read my mind. That was pretty much what I was going to say before you chimed in. I was like, Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Um, that's all I have for uh, Thames River. Does anyone else have any other questions? I guess the same ones as before, roof screening and. Uh, and yeah, coping. so um, it's going to be the uh, same scenario for the uh, roof screening. Um, so for the roof screening, we are scheduled to have it arrive on site August 13th, and it should be completed by August 27th. Yeah, so it's, uh, we are, um, if you don't mind, I do have one thing I forgot to mention at Cutler. We are going to the Planning Commission on the 10th, which yes. is next Tuesday, with the plan that meets all the regulations. So hopefully it'll be a short meeting for us, but I think we're after three public hearings. So it's going to be a, probably a, a later start, but hopefully a, a shorter duration. So we'll let you know how that works out. But we do meet all the regulations at this particular time. So, so you're, Phyllis, and you're going to the, the PNC planning, planning commission, yeah, planning is on for the sign, the school okay. sign. Yeah, you, yeah, school sign. I yeah. figured that out, but I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't did. say school sign. I'm sorry. I, was, <laughs> I got, I, I proceeded <laughs> myself or something. Or I got myself ahead of myself there somehow. But yeah, no, so we'll be going there. Uh, they have all the information they need. There was still a, sort of a minor question about screening up there and Greg and I looked at it today as we were leaving the site and from the one parking lot entryway at Cutler on the north lot all you see is the top of you all you would see is the screen you would see no rooftop equipment so they're still on a little bit about that so we'll be working that out with them and Mm -hmm. and and what our letter of approval said that that uh, equipment that was visible should be painted to match the rooftop screening so Mm -hmm. Tammy and I are working on trying to get a few pictures and I'll have to write a brief letter or email to the to the planning commission saying this is what it is we're going to comply with this thing and we got working on the on the uh, cost of the paint and stuff right now so um, and that's about it at this time you know yeah. any, any other- questions finally Crickets. No. Sam, are you still there? He's unmuted. He's unmuted. Oh, no, he's not. Me? Sort of. Yeah, we can hear you. I was wondering if you could update us on the uh, tile removal at the other schools. Uh, well, that's a tough one, right, Sam? <laughs> I think we lost him. <laughs> he was trying to speak, but he, it looks like he was cutting in and out. Yeah. yeah. So, so one thing we, we found out. One uh, thing we so, found out. From, uh, oh, uh, back. The removal, the last containment, the last major containment, uh, was tested today. We, can you hear me? Yeah, you're breaking up, Sam. Can you hear me now? Not really. Not yeah. really. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to move to another spot. So hold on a second. Okay. I got to go to the top of this hill. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, have you been drinking or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm thinking about starting. <laughs> no, that sounds much better. Uh, let, let uh, me know. We'll have to tip a okay. few here. So I think I'm in a better spot right here. So okay, okay. Right. that's good. Yep. Okay, so the Fitch High School Asbestos Project. So uh, the contract, the, the the removal contractor is uh, has completed the uh, last of the large containment areas, and uh, the test went out for um, to to the lab today. We expect results tomorrow, which would mean that they would on Saturday uh, tear that containment down and have it ready for uh, the tile crew. 
The tile crew has been delayed uh, week after week here. They were supposed to be here three weeks ago. Uh, they got here last week and started to float the floors, uh, to smooth the floors. Uh, I would say that they are about uh, a third uh, of the way done with uh, smoothing floors. And they are going to work uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday to continue that. They're actually going to start laying some tile tomorrow in the uh, business wing, which is the 2800th wing. So uh, the tile laying is actually gonna to start tomorrow and uh, they assure me that uh, they will be done uh, by the <laughs> So uh, we found out that's something interesting. Sam and I discussing these projects that he has the same tile contractor that we have covered. <laughs> so one, one day we had nobody on our site. Sam had nobody on his site. So we're wondering where these guys are kind of thing. <laughs> that's been turned around over Cutler anyway. So hopefully Sam will get his floor installed when he needs it here. Do we have any concept of a completion date on this? Well, they're telling me that they, well, they're supposed to be done by the 20th of August and they tell me that, they, and, and I talked to the owner again today of the tile crew and uh, they, they uh, assure me that they'll be done by the 20th. Okay. okay. That's that's hopeful. So I'll, I'll, I'll know better at the end of next week as to how it's going. That's for sure. But excellent. Of course, you know what the date is next Friday. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying home. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once that last containment comes down, uh, they have uh, some individual rooms that are down by the gym. Uh, Dave, you know that uh, your room for uh, the booster club uh, where they store their food and stuff, that, that room would be done. So there's some small rooms down by the gym that are going to be done individually, but uh, okay. that won't affect the tile guys in the least. Right. Uh, in fact, I, they'll never catch up with the asbestos guys now. So. Right. All right. Anybody have any questions for Sam? Nope. I have a quick one for Rick. Yes, sir. Have we resolved the inch height difference on the bathrooms? Uh, that's, we've, we had a number of those things. Uh, the, I had a, a discussion with the, the architect project manager. We haven't resolved that yet. He has some ideas about that. Um, he's on vacation, unfortunately, this week. They had a number of items that they could, uh, send us, you know, bulletins on that, that gave the direction of the design, for example, grab bars and, and things like that. Um, there was those few items like the height of the toilets hanging out there and a couple of those other ones that I'll be discussing with him when he returns on Monday. So we'll see what he thinks about where or where he thinks he can go with that. Um, you know, and we'll have some continuing discussions with, with the building official here in town on those. Anyway, also with Joe Summers. So, if they have to be removed, replaced, right now we're not we're not going there because if it has to happen during school in session, we're talking about potentially we could limit it to one ADA portion of a restroom uh, in any particular week or time or whatever. It would just spread it out over a period of time if we actually do have to move those. So you don't think it's going to impact any CO capability? No, no, uh, not at this point. You know, it'll be a condition. It may be a condition that you have to fix them, which which our initial discussion with Pete uh, Zwingelis was that was okay. So if we have a, have a conditional CO, you know, that may be one of the conditions on it that they have to be replaced or not, you know, so... You can't just raise the floor an inch, huh? Uh, I did bring that up. Put an extra set of tiles <laughs> in. Some, somebody said, well, you know, it's too low. We just ramp it up. You know, yep. it, you know, that was the thought, but no. <laughs> just a little more concrete, right? Yeah, it would have yeah. been nice. A little more epoxy. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy, you know, some of that stuff. You know, we're trying to get common sense to prevail on some of those other things. And I think we've done a pretty good job of, of sorting those out that really have to be done and those that don't necessarily. We still are having a, a discussion with the Playscape material, um, some access 
uh, to benches, if you will, because each of the benches that are by a gate should have the ability to have a wheelchair roll in on top and, and sit next to it and have a turnaround area and be able to sit there. So those, those kind of things can be relatively easily handled. You know, it's for a concrete pad of X amount of square feet. Um, but they are also a little concerned about the fill material, which is what Sam uses in every other school in the thing. So that's going to be a, a continuing discussion, and hopefully we can put that to rest on the first couple of days of next week. So, or we'll you're going to open a really big can of worms. Well, mm. it's already oh, it's no. already open. We're trying to put the lid back on. It. <laughs> it's like putting toothpaste back in a tube. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, it wouldn't be so much <laughs> next week. It could be with Joe Summers next week, but uh, Pete Zingles is out of town next week, so. Yeah. So we may be able to wrangle one uh, building official, if you will, uh, in, uh, onto our side, but we won't be able to get both of them. So there is some information about some compaction of materials and then, a, then another thinner layer on top and that kind of stuff. So it's still up in the air, but just to, to let you know that that's kind of hanging out there. Yep. All right. Anybody have anything else they'd like to make us aware of? Nope, that's it. And we have no new business. No, no, sir. We'll just have, well, I think it's, we'll have two, actually two meetings before the start of school. Yep. So, yeah, the next one's on the 19th. 19th. And then the, and the, the second. second. Yeah. yeah. Yes, indeed. So we should have a lot of uh, good feedback or information on the on the nineteenth meeting on where we're going with the uh, with the move, the tile, the this, that, the other stuff. So, right. If we're okay. fortunate, if we're fortunate, things have started to move already. But we'll see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hope to report. Yep. Stuff is going in classrooms. <laughs> yep. Rick, do you want me to go to the board of ed with you? I I don't know that it's going to help anything, Bob, because it's just. It's just the status. They have a series of pictures that we could probably share with you guys. I mean, maybe Tammy would send the link, but we did have an issue sort of with the Board of Ed photographer going on site, not letting anybody know. <laughs> so we've addressed that to Sam and he's he's going to talk to Mark about that, you know, access to the, to the building, uh, to the buildings, because, you know, obviously we want him to be safe as well as anybody else. Right, but but for Monday, Bob, I don't think it's gonna gonna provide anything. It's a it's a matter of probably answering their questions on where they stand. I mean, you're certainly welcome if you want to come in, but it's at six o'clock over at uh, room eleven at the Board of Education headquarters. There, I was just wondering if uh you know, the visual front would help. Yeah, no, I, they've been really pretty good. You know, we went uh, the other day. We talked. Uh, talk to them about some some issues at one of their last meetings uh, i'll actually get to get the uh, approval or acceptance of the project and they've been they've been very good with the questions they've asked and, and uh, we've been able to respond uh, to them or find the answer if we didn't know you know so okay i just okay. you know if yep. i can I'll, be of assistance I'll, let me know yeah i'll let you know on, on uh, tuesday what happened okay <laughs> All right, barring anything else, I won't keep you all from your dinner. Oh boy. Let's call it a night. Yes. Everybody stay safe and you let's too. look forward to moving all right. forward. Yep. See you in a couple of weeks. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.